Identify your feelings throughout the day. You should make it a point to identify your feelings throughout the day, especially if you are experiencing strong emotions. If, for example, a coworker makes a comment that puts you on edge, make a mental note of what you are feeling. This will help you develop your emotional vocabulary and help you take a step back from your reactions. Breathe deeply. When you become stressed emotionally, your body will react evolutionarily, as if you are responding to a threat. However, if you can calm your body's reaction to your stress, you'll find that your emotional stress will decrease. When you start to feel tense, take slow, deep breaths and concentrate on letting the air flow in and out of your abdomen. Learn to empathize. If you want to boost your emotional intelligence, then you need to learn how to put yourself in other people's shoes. Work to consider situations from the perspective of others so that you can learn to understand those around you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three ways you can develop your emotional intelligence and become a better leader. According to psychologists, emotional intelligence is what separates a good leader from a great one. When a company's leadership team lacks emotional intelligence, it can do significant damage to the organization, including high turnover and toxic behavior among employees. Fortunately, you can improve your emotional intelligence, or EQ, with a bit of practice. Here are three ways that you can develop your emotional intelligence to become a better leader. Practice mindfulness. An essential component for leading others is your ability to manage yourself through self-awareness and self-regulation. The most effective way that you can develop your self-awareness and self-regulation is through mindfulness. When you raise your awareness of what's happening with you both mentally and emotionally, you can better notice a change and how outside influences affect you. Learn to accept feedback. Being capable of hearing feedback without becoming defensive is an essential leadership skill and one that reflects an emotionally intelligent leader. Not only can defensiveness erode trust, but it also damages the confidence you've developed with your team. To be a more emotionally intelligent leader, you need to learn how to be less defensive when you receive feedback. You can do this by pausing for a few seconds when you receive feedback so that you can allow the initial emotion to pass. You can also let your team know that you appreciate their courage to approach you and ask any clarifying questions that you might have about the feedback given. Use downtime to develop empathy. To increase your emotional intelligence, you need to learn about your employees on a more personal level. This will help you understand and empathize with them better, which is an integral part of emotional intelligence. One-on-ones are the best way to do this because they are the best way to learn about your employees on a personal level. You can understand your employees on a deeper level when you take the time and make an effort to learn how they think and feel. Learning to empathize with your team can help you understand them better and will make you a better mentor. The great thing about emotional intelligence is that it is a skill that you can not only learn but develop. No matter what you do to build your emotional intelligence, you need to make sure that you are conscious about how you can improve areas of weakness so you can move forward and become the best leader you can be. In this presentation, I'm going to share with you the four signs that you might need to develop your emotional intelligence. Having high emotional intelligence is crucial because it helps you to not only recognize your own emotions, but also how to relate to others' feelings. It is important to develop emotional intelligence if you want to succeed in life. If you're going to be the best you can be, then it is essential for you to build your emotional intelligence. Here are four signs that suggest that you need to improve your level of emotional intelligence. You hold grudges. If you are someone that holds grudges, you could be suffering from low emotional intelligence. Holding on to grudges won't make you happier in any way. In fact, holding on to grudges will most likely make you feel more stressed and anxious because you are focusing on the negative. If you want to be more emotionally intelligent, then you need to learn how to let go of grudges. You can't move on from mistakes. No one likes it when they make mistakes. However, if you have high emotional intelligence, you know that you can learn from the mistakes that you make. If you can't seem to move on from your mistakes, it means that you need to work on improving your emotional intelligence. Rather than holding on to the mistakes that you make and letting it hold you back, you need to try a new approach 
acknowledge your mistakes, find the lesson, and move on. You get offended easily. Along with blaming others for your feelings, if you get offended easily, it is a sure sign that you need to work on your emotional intelligence. In most cases, other people aren't intentionally trying to hurt your feelings or offend you. Learn to develop open-mindedness and a thick skin, and you will end up being more confident and less offended by the actions of those around you. You hide your feelings. Being in control of your feelings and emotions isn't the same thing as hiding them. If you hide your emotions to the point where it is hard to tell if you're sad or angry, shows a lack of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is about acknowledging and effectively managing your feelings in ways that are healthy instead of hiding them. Learn healthy coping techniques to keep your emotions from ruling you. It is important to develop emotional intelligence so that you can be happier and be a better leader. If any of these signs mentioned above are familiar, then it means that you need to work on your emotional intelligence. In this presentation, I'm going to show you the five steps you need to take to improve your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is a skill that is used daily in both your personal and professional life. It means that we are aware of our emotions and are able to manage them properly. It is the key to living a healthy, balanced life, and it affects how we handle stress, our mental health, and our relationships with others. Here are five steps that you need to take if you want to improve your emotional intelligence. Step number one, manage and reduce negative emotions. Not only can negative emotions overwhelm us, but they tend to affect our judgment as well. To improve your emotional intelligence, you need to learn to change the way you think about situations. You can effectively avoid negative emotions by considering multiple ways to view situations before you react. Step number two, express your difficult emotions. Difficult emotions will arise despite your best efforts. When it comes to critical emotional problems, it is essential that you can talk openly about the problem. You need to know where you stand on the issue and what your reasonable and acceptable boundaries are. If you are treading on dangerous ground, you need to avoid using sentences that begin with you, especially if those statements are accusatory or judgmental. Step number three, learn to manage your stress levels. Stress-related ailments cause a majority of the visits to doctor's offices these days. Stress is a part of life, and it is essential that you learn how to handle stressful situations in your life. If you know what is causing you stress, figure out a way to reduce or eliminate it. When you are faced with an awkward situation, you need to remind yourself to stay calm and manage your stress levels. Step number four, react to negativity in a positive way. Everyone will encounter unreasonable people in their life. Even those who are typically reasonable have irrational or contrary moments. Before you react negatively, learn to empathize and put yourself in the other person's shoes. Learn to pay attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues. Learning to see the problem from someone else's perspective can help you remember that everyone has issues. Step number five, bounce back from adversity. Everyone from time to time is faced with adversity. However, you can manage the way you respond to that adversity. Rather than avoiding it, you can ask yourself constructive questions like, how can I learn from this experience? Asking yourself questions will help you gain perspective and move forward. Improving your level of emotional intelligence will benefit you in all aspects of your life. It may take time and patience, but these five steps will help you better manage your emotions and change your life. In this presentation, I'm going to show you five ways that you can utilize emotional intelligence at work. When it comes to interpersonal communication, emotional intelligence is a critical ability that you need if you want to succeed. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence skills and increase your workplace performance, here are five things that you can do. Work on your motivation. Motivation is a critical component of emotional intelligence. If you want to have a strong EQ, you need to be motivated to accomplish your goals for their own sake, rather than to seek external rewards. People with high EQ do things differently, because they find them fulfilling, and they are passionate about what they do. 
To utilize emotional intelligence at work, you need to focus on what you love about your job and try to maintain a positive attitude. Become more empathetic. Having high emotional intelligence means that you are good at understanding how another person feels and responding appropriately. At work, empathy allows you to understand the different dynamics between supervisors and colleagues. It will also enable you to understand who holds power and how it can influence the behaviors, interactions, and feelings that flow within these relationships. To work on your empathy, you can try seeing things from the other's perspective and pay attention to how you respond to others. Work on your social skills. Social skills are highly valued in the workplace because they can lead to better communication. Employees and leaders with excellent social skills can quickly build rapport with colleagues and effectively communicate their ideas. To utilize your emotional intelligence in the workplace, you have to work on building your social skills. You can do this by listening to what others have to say and by paying attention to nonverbal communication. Practice self-regulation. Being aware of your emotions is an essential first step in utilizing your emotional intelligence in the workplace. However, you also need to make sure that you can manage the things that you are feeling. When you are good at self-regulation, you can quickly adapt to changing situations. You can improve your self-regulation skills at work by finding techniques that will help you deal with stress and taking the time to think before making any decisions. Become more self-aware. To utilize emotional intelligence in the workplace, you have to be able to recognize your own emotions. Being self-aware involves having an awareness of different aspects of yourself. Self-awareness is one of the foundational components of emotional intelligence. Your emotional intelligence plays a significant role in your success at work. You can improve your EQ and foster higher emotional competencies. By keeping these five ways to utilize emotional intelligence in mind to help you improve your chances of career success. In this presentation, I'm going to show you six ways that you can boost your emotional intelligence. Your emotional intelligence is your ability to understand, manage, and express your feelings, as well as navigate and engage with others. Emotional intelligence is an essential component in the formation, maintenance, development, and enhancement of close relationships. Here are six critical ways to boost your emotional intelligence. Reduce negative emotions. Learning how to effectively manage your negative emotions so they won't overwhelm you can help to boost your emotional intelligence. To change the way you feel about a situation, you first have to change the way you think about it. Learn to manage stress and stay cool. How you handle the stress in your life can make a big difference between being assertive versus being reactive, which is an essential aspect of emotional intelligence. When you find yourself under pressure or in a stressful situation, the most important thing is to keep your cool. Learn how to be assertive. There are times in everyone's lives when it is essential to learn how to set appropriate boundaries so those around you know where you stand. This includes exercising your right to disagree without being disagreeable, setting your own priorities, and saying no without the guilt, to name a few. Being able to stay proactive when dealing with difficult people. We've all encountered unreasonable people, and it can be incredibly easy to let them affect your mood and ruin our day. Some keys to staying proactive in these kinds of situations include taking a deep breath before saying something that you might later regret, putting yourself in a difficult person's shoes for just a moment, and setting consequences that can help compel a problematic person to shift from violation to respect. Bouncing back from adversity. How you choose to think, feel, and act when faced with life's challenges can make the difference between victory and defeat. Anytime you face a challenging situation, you need to think about the lesson learned and what is most important. Ask yourself constructive questions based on learning, and you can gain the right perspective to tackle any challenging situation. Expressing intimate emotions in close relationships. Boosting your emotional intelligence means developing the ability to communicate and validate tender, loving emotions in your close personal relationships. This means sharing intimate feelings with someone in a manner that is both nourishing and constructive. Your emotional intelligence, unlike your IQ, 
can evolve and increase with your desire to learn and grow. Keep these six essential ways of boosting your emotional intelligence in mind to dramatically improve your overall EQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to increase your emotional intelligence. Your emotional intelligence, which is often referred to as EQ, describes your ability to recognize emotions, understand their effect, and use the information you obtain to guide your own behavior and thoughts. EQ helps you to not only better understand yourself and others, but a high EQ will also help increase your chances of achieving your goals. Here's how you can improve your emotional intelligence. Reflect on your emotions. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, then you need to spend some time reflecting on the use of emotions. For example, take some time to think about how you typically respond when you read an email that implies that you drop the ball, or how you respond when you get cut off by another driver on the freeway. Being able to identify your own emotions and how you react will help you become more mindful. Ask for the perspective of others. We often don't realize that others view us differently than we see ourselves. This isn't about being right or wrong, but rather understanding how perceptions differ and the consequences that are created by those differences. Getting the perspective of others will help you see yourself more like others see you, which in turn will help you better understand others. Be observant. When you can arm yourself with this knowledge, you tend to be more observant of your current emotions. The self-reflection and the perspective of others can help you to be more in tune with your feelings. If you discover new emotions for specific situations, take the time to reflect on that and write down your experience to help you clarify your thinking. Think before you act or speak. You may be good at managing your emotions, but everyone can have a bad day. Added stress can inhibit your ability to manage your feelings successfully. Not only does this apply to upsetting situations, but often we are tempted to jump into opportunities that look really good, but that we haven't thoroughly thought through. When you can work on pausing before acting or speaking, you will start to increase a habit of thinking first. Like any other skill or ability, it takes practice to get better. While it is impossible to have complete and perfect control over your emotions, you can start to gain control with consistent practice. With practice, you can learn how to harness the power of your emotions. The four best ways to enhance your EQ. Emotional intelligence has become a popular topic over the past several years. An essential aspect of emotional intelligence is the ability to not only perceive emotions, but to control and evaluate emotions in both yourself and others. Recognizing emotional intelligence in yourself can help you to regulate and manage your feelings while understanding emotions in others, which will lead to both empathy and success in both your personal and professional life. Here are four of the best ways to enhance your emotional intelligence. Don't judge your feelings too quickly. When we have low emotional intelligence, you tend to try and dismiss your feelings too quickly. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, you need to avoid dismissing your feelings before you've had a chance to think them through. Strong emotions often rise and fall in an unpredictable wave, steadily rising, peaking, and fading away naturally. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, then you need to try to not cut off the wave of emotions before they peak. Connect your feelings with your thoughts. When you feel something that isn't typical, it is useful to determine what you think about it. Too often, our feelings contradict others, which is actually healthy. Spending the time to listen to your tastes is a lot like listening to all the witnesses in a criminal court case. If you want to be able to reach the best verdict, then you have to pay attention to all the evidence that you've presented. Tune into your unconscious feelings. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, then you need to become aware of your unconscious feelings. The best way to do this is with free association. While you are in a relaxed state, you can allow your thoughts to roam freely and pay attention to where they go. You can also analyze your dreams to get a better understanding of your unconscious feelings. Try to pay special attention to those dreams that repeat or that are charged with powerful emotions. Know when enough is enough. There will come a time when you need to stop looking inward and start to focus outward. 
Studies have shown that when you dwell upon negative feelings, it tends to amplify those feelings. If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, then you need to not only look within, but also be in the present. It isn't difficult to enhance your emotional intelligence so that you can lead a happier and more successful life. Keep these simple tips in mind to help you improve your emotional intelligence. In this presentation, I'm going to present you with the best strategies for developing your emotional intelligence to improve your social skills. Emotional intelligence, or EQ for short, measures your ability to perceive our emotions as well as those of others, and manage them healthily and productively. It is fundamental to our lives and plays a significant role in how successful we are in both our careers and relationships. Here are the best strategies for developing your emotional intelligence to improve your social skills. Pay attention to your behavior. As you start to practice your emotional awareness, it is essential that you also pay close attention to your behavior. Take the time to notice how you act when you experience certain emotions and how it affects your life. Does your behavior change your ability to communicate with others? Does it affect your productivity or your sense of well-being? Take responsibility for your feelings. Your feelings and behavior come from you, not anyone else. So you need to take responsibility for them. If you feel hurt to something someone does or says and you lash out at them, you are responsible for that response. Once you can start to accept responsibility for how you feel and how you act, you will notice a positive impact on your social skills and your life overall. Learn to respond rather than react. Reacting is an unconscious process that happens when you experience an emotional trigger. You end up behaving in an unconscious way that either expresses or relieves that emotion. Responding to a situation is different in that it is a conscious process that requires you to notice how you feel and deciding how you're going to behave. Learning how to respond to situations can help you improve your social skills and emotional intelligence. Practice empathy. Practicing empathy for yourself and others will help to improve your EQ. Empathy is about learning how to understand why someone behaves or feels the way they do, and then being able to communicate your understanding to them. You can improve your empathy toward others by first practicing empathy with yourself. To do this, start to notice when you are feeling or behaving in a certain way, and determine why you think you're feeling or acting in the way you are. Continue to practice paying attention to how you are feeling and behaving in certain situations to help you improve your emotional intelligence and develop your social skills. Developing your emotional intelligence isn't something that will happen overnight, but rather is something that you need to work on throughout your life. Continue to practice and you'll reap the benefits of emotional intelligence for the rest of your life. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you the top tips for increasing emotional intelligence for stronger relationships. Over the last several years, the concept of emotional intelligence has become increasingly popular. Along with being linked to stronger relationships, emotional intelligence is also linked to an increased ability to manage stress and better work performance. Fortunately, you can develop your emotional intelligence with practice. Here are the top tips for improving emotional intelligence to strengthen your relationships. Know yourself. The foundation of emotional intelligence is self-awareness. Having a deep understanding of yourself can provide you with more accurate perceptions of how you come across to others. If you want to increase your self-awareness, you need to make an effort to reflect on your strength, triggers, developmental opportunities, and values so that you can become more familiar with what makes you tick. Be open to feedback. When you have high emotional intelligence, you are more receptive to hearing and considering the feedback of others. You may not always agree with the point of view of others, but weighing the feedback you get can help you guard against blind spots and help you recognize if your behavior has the intended effects. Identify your feelings throughout the day. You should make it a point to identify your feelings throughout the day especially if you are experiencing strong emotions. If, for example, a coworker makes a comment that puts you on edge, make a mental note of what you are feeling. This will help you develop your emotional vocabulary and help you take a step back from your reactions. Breathe deeply. 
when you become stressed emotionally, your body will react evolutionarily, as if you are responding to a threat. However, if you can calm your body's reaction to your stress, you'll find that your emotional stress will decrease. When you start to feel tense, take slow, deep breaths and concentrate on letting the air flow in and out of your abdomen. Learn to empathize. If you want to boost your emotional intelligence, then you need to learn how to put yourself in other people's shoes. Work to consider situations from the perspective of others so that you can learn to understand those around you. Having this increased insight will allow you to connect with others more effectively. These are just a few tips that can help you increase your emotional intelligence and create stronger relationships with those around you. Putting them into practice in your daily life will put you on the right track for handling your emotions and relationships. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you understand the five essential components of emotional intelligence. Your emotional intelligence involves your ability to understand and manage your emotions. This kind of intelligence, according to the experts, plays a vital role in a person's success and is linked to everything from academic achievement and decision making. Five components are critical to emotional intelligence, and understanding them can help you to improve your skills and increase your emotional intelligence. Self-awareness The ability to recognize and understand your emotions is a critical aspect of emotional intelligence. Aside from just being able to recognize your own feelings, emotional intelligence also requires you to be aware of the effect your actions, moods, and emotions have on others. To become more self-aware, you need to be able to monitor your emotions and recognize the different emotional reactions and correctly identify each emotion. Self-regulation Along with being aware of your emotions and the impact they have on others, you also need to be able to regulate and manage your emotions effectively. Rather than putting your own feelings on lockdown, self-regulation requires you to be able to wait for the right time, place, and avenue to express your emotions. Social skills Another critical aspect of emotional intelligence is being able to interact well with others. Real emotional understanding takes more than simply understanding your own emotions and how they affect others, but you also need to be able to put this information to work in your daily communications. Empathy Understanding how others feel is critical to emotional intelligence. However, this takes more than just being able to recognize the emotional state of others. You also need to be able to respond appropriately to people based on the information. For example, when you sense that someone is feeling sad, you might need to treat them with extra concern and care. Being empathetic will also allow you to understand the power dynamics that tend to influence your social relationships. Motivation Something else that plays a crucial role in emotional intelligence is your intrinsic motivation. When you have high emotional intelligence, you are motivated by things that are beyond external rewards like money, fame, acclaim, or recognition. Instead, you have a passion for fulfilling your own inner goals and needs. You tend to look for things that will lead you to obtain intrinsic rewards and pursue peak experiences. These are the five essential components associated with emotional intelligence. Having an understanding of these components can help you to improve your skills in these areas and notice a dramatic increase in your emotional intelligence. Yeah. Yeah.